Hi Church, uh, my name is Jess, um, I'm part of our Central Manchester campus and I'm bringing you our devotional thought today. Um, I hope you're good wherever you are and I just believe that God wants to encourage you today. Um, I want to speak to you about the word uh, diligence, um, something that I believe that God has spoke to me years ago that I really try and live my life by um, being diligent in the small and um, just sometimes that seasons that you walk through that you have to um, stay steadfast and be diligent with the small things and um, believing that God is going to bring you a miracle. Um, we did, we renovated a house recently in the last year and um, it really taught us a lot about our character. It taught us a lot about um, just doing the mundane small things. We did so much DIY on it and I would document a lot of it on Instagram and I think we all love watching those Instagram clips where it's like the before and after. Um, I know I though, I, I don't, I don't want to just keep scrolling on the before pictures all day every day. I just want to see the after and we just want to see the end result. Um, and I think a lot of people did watching me as well. Um, and nobody saw the every day, um, the every time I kept coming back to the house, like doing painting some skirting boards or some door frames. And it was really hard work. And I learned a lot how... Um, things I rushed and things that I didn't work hard at, I still now am just so disappointed in myself that I wish I'd just done it properly because it's now not perfect and it's not as good as it should be and nobody else will really see it, but I am not happy and I wish that I had been diligent and done everything properly and followed the right steps with everything I did. Um, I think it's hard in life to um, be patient. I know that I struggle with that. We can come to church and we can hear, dream a big dream, you know, have vision for your life, which is amazing. But sometimes it's hard to then walk through the journey to get there. Um, I think I often want my dreams to just all happen straight away and be handed to me on a plate. And I'm not always cut out to be patient and, and stick with the season that it sometimes takes to get to your dream. In Galatians 6, 9, it says, let us not grow weary of doing good for in due, due season, we will reap if we do not give up. And this verse is talking about being steadfast and being diligent when nobody sees it and do not grow weary of doing those good things. Those, those days where you get up and you have to keep going and it's hard and it's tough. Um, but I think God is saying to us to keep going um, Imagine if we'd never heard the backstory of David. Imagine if he had just come into the scene in the Bible and just killed Goliath and we had no idea of his backstory, of where he'd come from, of his family or the season he walked through before that. Um, but I really believe that there's a reason why it's in the Bible, um, the, the years he spent in the fields the years he spent just in worship with God and, and killing animals and tending to his sheep because it all um, perfected his character to get to the point that he went in and walked and killed Goliath. And I think that really speaks to me because it shows me that those seasons and those years being with God and being diligent and waiting for your miracle is so important to build our character. Um, and I know it's I know it's hard when you're going through what feels like an uphill battle, but I think that God wants us to stay steadfast and perfect our character because the things that he will teach us and the things that he wants to um, build in us, I think it makes the miracle at the end even more worth it and even more um, a celebration because it's not just getting the miracle then, it's that we've built something on the inside of us and we have um, stayed steadfast with God. Um, I just want to pray for us now, um, wherever you're at, whether you are um, totally fine or if you are having uh, you know difficulty believing and praying and believing for your miracle. Um, so God, I just pray wherever um, the person hearing this today, wherever they are at, God, I pray that you would just speak to them, God, to stay steadfast and to not grow weary of doing good and God, to be diligent in the, the behind the scenes, those things that nobody else sees, the hard work, the mundane, um, but the things at the end of the day, they're doing it for you. They are staying steadfast for you and they are not growing weary of doing good for you, God. And I pray that they would see that, that they would realize that you see them and you see exactly where you are, they're at. And uh, you're so proud of them and you have got so much more to come, God. Their best days are yet to come. In Jesus' name, amen. Thanks so much, guys. I uh, hope you have a great rest of your day and um, we will see you soon.